Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 8.4 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 8.4 is called Multiply a Fraction or Mixed Number by a Whole Number. So we already know how to multiply a fraction by a whole number. Now they're just throwing in one extra step and they're making us multiply a whole number times a mixed number. So if you look at our example here, we have 3 times 1 and 1 fourth, whereas pr in previous lessons we may have only seen 3 times 1, one fourth, meaning we didn't have another whole number here in front. So the extra part of this lesson here is going to be taking those 1 and 1 fourth or whatever the fraction may be and changing it um, from a mixed number to a fraction before we multiply. So we need to remember how to change these into fractions. These are called mixed numbers. When they have a whole number and a fraction, it's called a mixed number. So we're first going to have to change our mixed number into a fraction. That's the first step. The way that we do that is we do 4, the denominator, times the whole number. So 4 times 1, that's 4. And then we add the numerator. So we're going to add a 1 to that, making it a 5. Now after we do that multiplying here and adding here, we just put our answer over our original denominator, which was 4. So I can say 1 and 1 fourth is equal to 5 fourths. Okay, so now that we've reviewed how to change mixed numbers into fractions, we can actually do this problem. Christina is planning a dance routine. At the end of each measure of music, she will make a 1 and 1 fourth turn. How many turns will she make after th the first three measures of music? So our problem is 3 times 1 and 1 fourths. So we're going to take what we already know, 1 and 1 fourth is equal to 5 fourths. So we will have 3 times 5 fourths instead of 3 times 1 and 1 fourth. So in other words, if you have a mixed number here, you have to change it into a fraction before you multiply it by anything else. Now that we've changed it into our fraction, we just do this the way that we've been practicing. So 3 times 5 fourths. You do the whole number times the numerator. 3 times 5 is 15. And the denominator stays the same. So 15 fourths. 15 fourths would be our answer for this. So step 2 down here says we got to take that 15 fourths and write it as a mixed number. So in other words, they don't want it, us to leave it like this with a big number on the top and a small number on the bottom. So the way that we do that, and we learn this in chapter 7, is you just think of this fraction line as a division sign. So it's 15 divided by 4. I'm going to do that over here. 15 divided by 4. 4 fits into 15 three times, which is 12. 15 minus 12 is 3, so my remainder is 3. So my answer would be 3 and 3 fourths. This is your big whole number. This is your numerator. This is your denominator. So my final answer for 3 times 1 and 1 fourth is 3 and 3 fourths. Now down here, they just, in step 2, instead of doing it just the plain old math way like I did over here, they just are writing it out. They're writing it out the long way. So 15 fourths, they would write 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fourth. We would do that until we've written it 15 times. So 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 
one fourth. All these are going to be fourths, so that we would have it written out 15 times. And then they just grouped them. You can see the blue lines on the bottom. They made groups. Since it's fours, they made groups of four to see that they have one group of four here, two groups of four here, three groups of four, three groups, and then there's three fours left over. So you get the same answer. They just wrote it all out and then made groups of them. So Christina will make three and three fourths turns. Okay, down here on these questions one and two. If you multiply three times one fourth, is the product greater than or less than three? Well, let's do it. Whole number times numerator, three. Denominator stays the same, fourths. So is that less than three or greater than three? Well, three fourths is less than three. Oops, that's supposed to say than, less than three. Okay, number two, explain how you can tell that three times one and one fourth is greater than three without finding the exact product. Well, you already know that because three times just plain old one is three, but we also have one fourth that we're adding on to it. So that's gonna push us over the three. All right. Okay, so I wanna do one more problem just to kind of get this, all these steps into your head because there's quite a bit of steps in this. So let's say we have five, times two and two third. We want to find the answer to this. First step, change this mixed number into a fraction. To change that into a fraction, we do three times two, which is six, and then add the two on the top, which is eight. So that's going to change into eight, and we keep our denominator the same, eight thirds. So now I have five times eight thirds. So again, first step, change to fraction. Change your mixed number to a fraction. Okay, now that we've changed it to a fraction, we just do this the regular way that we've been doing. So you multiply the whole number times the numerator. Five times eight is 40 and the denominator stays the same. So step two, multiply. So we've got 40 thirds. They don't want us to leave it like that. They want us to write it as, write the product as a mixed number. Mixed number looks like this. It has a whole number in the front and then a fraction after it. So step three, divide. So this line right here means divide. So we're going to do 40 divided by three. Three fits into four one time, and that's three. Four minus three is one. Bring down my zero and start over. Three fits into 10 three times, which is nine. 10 minus nine is one. Okay, fourth step, write it, write your answer as a mixed number. The way they do that is this number at the top is your whole number. So it's the big number, whole number is the big one. So 13, this number down here will be your numerator, one. And this number over here is your denominator. 
So four steps, kind of a long process, but this is my final answer. Five times two and two thirds equals 13 and one third. Okay, so if you're in my class, you should have been filling out um, in your big book, page 329, and write down the password clipboard in your planner so that I know you watch the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message. Thanks.